Blow Goat Lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. And we, as many of you know, have been um, going back and forth with breeding younger goats. Our younger two. Well, we thought it would be a perfect opportunity to share with you guys um, the reasonings that we actually breed early and, and what, you know, the repercussions may be if we don't decide to breed them. So, first and foremost, we, you know, we don't have a, a pet farm. It's not a little hobby ranch or anything like that. It is a goat ranch, um, and ranches are supposed to make money. At the bare minimum, they should be feeding themselves and, you know, their care and, and everything else. So, to put them off for two months has a lot. Uh, of things that you actually need to consider you know at first thought obviously it's like well just don't breed them for two months what's the big deal throw them in with the buck you know that seems simple enough but then when you start thinking of everything else if you decide to wait you know they might be just a hair smaller than I, I would like to see them you know I've said the width is there that I'm not worried about um, but, you know, to take a very slight risk of something potentially happening during kidding compared to just one of the things, say, say we wait to breed them two months and then they are breeding in June or July. They're kidding in June or July. It's 110 degrees. It is, you know, it's hard on the little babies. We've actually had to bring babies inside before. Um, because it's just so darn hot so you know to put off now for that you got to consider it's just too hot if you wait a whole year and breed them next year they've lost a lot of um, development that I don't you know a whole year's worth of development rather there's a lot of changing that goes on in a doe when she does get pregnant so that's that's you know something to consider also something to consider would be I want to go to the show potentially in New Mexico I've been wanting to go for a couple years and you know we, we've been staggering breeding there's always a kid being due or you know lots of other life things always happen of course but if I breed them I'm definitely again this year no if ands or buts I'm not going um, they'll be kidding in that time I'm not going to travel with them and, you know, stress them out in that manner or have them have their kids in New Mexico or in the trailer on the way. So that's another thing to consider. Uh, you know, also consider we're going to breed them to Everest. So when you, we're going to separate all the bucks, they'll be with their does for a couple months. And then we're going to put them all back together at the same time. And Everest has not been introduced to the big boys. So when you shake things up, if, as, as we call it, um, it's a lot easier to put, uh, introduce someone new to the herd. So if we uh, don't introduce him after everybody's out of rut, the bucks are no longer in rut, and we hold him out for another two months. We put the three bucks back together, the big boys. You know, they've already hashed out everything. And then you put Everest in there two months later by himself, being a little smaller. They're all going to gang up on him. And that's not going to be very easy on that boy. So, you know, that another thing to consider. When we put them all in together, then they're all gonna you know more than likely the big boys are gonna go at each other and and leave Everest for the most part alone so I really don't want to do that to him either so again waiting two months or putting off breeding that's another thing to consider there is probably a lot more things to consider obviously that I can't think of currently but that is just again some realities of ranching we're gonna breed these girls and they're gonna be fine 
Um, you know, I'm, I'm really not too worried about it. And uh, everything, everything that's gonna happen, or everything, you know, all the other considerations, it's just not worth waiting. It just simply isn't. So, that's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna breed these girls.